Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to make an executable for our game. Here I have a blend file of my game. If I open this file, Blender is open and I can uh, just play pushing P. Okay, this is a, a little game that I made for, I have made for a Span one of my Spanish tutorials and I'm going to use to show you how to make an executable, okay? Uh, the executable uh, uh, is used to uh, play our game without Blender, that's simple. What can I, what, what I have to do? Okay, first a few concepts. This blend file is a packet file, okay? Because all the texture, texture are packet into the blend file. It's half a size of, uh, this one, uh, 11 MB, no? megabytes. So, well, let's see. I have, sorry, I have to fit Blender into Windows like this, okay. So I have this gain and I'm going to make a executable, okay? Just, I have to go to file, export, and search for the game engine safe as game engine runtime but I don't have this option I have to install it first okay if you don't have the this option you have to go to user preference here go to add-ons game engine and click here just to click in here you have the option right now but if you close and uh, open blender again you will lose this option if you want to set uh, this option as default, all the configuration as default, click here, save as default. So every time you open Blender, you will have this configuration. Let's see. If I open again, if I push new one, I, I have uh, this configuration. Uh, if I use, uh, if I make a new blend file, it's not the default cube as usual. It's right now it's this one, okay? If you will go back to the default configuration, you have to click here, load factory setting, like this, and uh, save user setting again. So now, with uh, I have a new uh, blend file, I have the default blend file, okay? Let's go, let's back to our game, like this, I'm going to fit Blender to the windows, sorry, like this, okay, okay, let's go again, uh, user preference, I don't have the option right now, user preference, add on, game engine, click here, close. And now I have here in export, sa save as game engine runtime. If I click here, I select the name of my file, in this, uh, in this case, master.exe or exe, save as game engine runtime, and that's all, okay? I have now all this file because are necessary to execute the game. So, now, if I want, I can uh, uh, remove. I'm not going to delete, but I'm going to move, just move it, the blend file, okay? So if I click here, if I open uh, the file, I have this window with my uh, game, okay? Okay, things I can change. I mean, options, uh, resolution, of course. I'm going to open again my blend file like this. I'm going to do it again because I didn't save last time. I'm going to game engine here, same as default. Okay. So uh, if I want to change the uh, the resolution, I have to go to properties. And here this menu, render menu, and 
I think is this one, a standalone player. Now my configuration, I think is something like this one, no, me, 1000, I don't remember exactly. Okay, this one, and this one. This is exactly my, the resolution I'm recording right now. So if I make the executable again, here, master.exe, like this. Now if I execute, I get these windows exactly at my resolution, okay? Like this. And, but this is, uh, I can do it too in a uh, full screen mode. Where, oh, sorry, this not. It's neither. I have a few Blender copies open. Okay, here properties, I can click here in a full screen mode, okay? Um, I'm not going to do it because the configuration I'm using to record this tutorial don't let me use full screen mode. But uh, you know what is full screen. If I use full screen, I will get this resolution and I'm going to use the, the full screen. The full screen. So that's simple. Okay. Well, I'm going to explain you more things. We are going to delete everything but uh, the blend file step the blend file to start it again and now I'm going to uh, unpack the blend file I'm going to do this external data unpack into files and use files in current directory what and I'm going to save what I just did I have to unpacked all the files uh, that I was using in my game, like songs or texture. In this case, only texture, okay? You can see here these three texture, okay? I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to make a mistake uh, to uh, show you what is going on, what will happen if you have uh, some issue with your texture, okay? So I'm going to duplicate this uh, texture. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to go back, open my blend file. I'm going to open this new image, new one, no, sorry, open one, open texture, this one. Okay, I have a one texture here and it's okay. So I can uh, unpack again. No, that's not what I want. I can, uh, yeah. I'm going to save. So now I use him. I, I really don't use him, but here it is a new texture, okay? So if I go to texture and I delete the texture, now if I open the game, if I op, yeah. If I open the blend file, if I open the blend file, uh, uh, maybe I will find a uh, uh, issue, an uh, error. No, if I open, but if I pack again, pack blend, pack into blend file, yeah, here it is. I make an error, okay? Unable to pack file, blah, blah, blah. Why? Because I have delayed. The blend, Blender can't find this file, okay? Nothing happens, it's working anyway. Okay, because uh, this texture, I, I wasn't using this texture, okay? But if I make my executable again, I did I have lose it again. Uh, game engine here. I have it. Export. Ah, here. If I do it again, save, I have a mistake, okay? Blender can, is not going to make an executable file if you have some uh, missing texture or something, okay? I have an error and I don't have the executable file. So what I have to do to correct the 
uh, issue with the texture, the, the missing texture. And uh, if you check, it, uh, we are going to do it again, export game here, and I find here, uh, unable to pack file, blah, 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 create.copia.gpg, or whatever it's pronounced. Uh, so I have to uh, delay this file from Blender 2. How can I do that? Uh, I'm going to the image editor and I have to select select this file. This one is missing. So if I put chief, I'm pushing chief and I click here, as you can see, uh, Blender is, is telling you to unlink data block chief more click. So I do that, and now I can find a zero here in the line of the texture. This means it's uh, delayed. So if I save and I open again, now this is not the texture. I cannot find the texture here. So everything is right right now. It's well. So now I can export game again, master here. And now it works. Just a single texture make the executable fail. To make Blender to fail making the executable. So now if I push, everything is working well. Okay. Uh, a little more difference. If I uh, do that, the executable is all is uh, oh, it's big. 39 but uh, if I pack the file I spec it or not I don't remember I'm going to unpack okay unpack save and make the game again master okay and now it's not too much but a little lighter, uh, smaller, okay? Why? Because now it's not packing the texture inside uh, the executable, okay? If now, if I delay the texture or just rename the folder like this, okay, texture two, if I execute the game, is the texture is not showing as you can see because Blender is not uh, finding the texture, okay? So I'm going to do that again. But if I uh, pack into blend file, everything is into the blend file. So I don't need the texture for the or whatever. So if I do now, uh, export, save as game, again. Now, the X is a little bigger because the texture are inside the executable. So I can delay now this folder. There is no texture folder anymore. And if I execute, if I open the X, I can see the texture because our packet inside to the X. Okay, this is, there are two different ways, packet or not packet, okay? Okay, that's uh, how you can make uh, executable from your game. That's the option, the issues, the error that you can find. And that's all, thanks for watching the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you, I hope you can understand my English. And that's all. Thanks for watching.